time is 7.54 a.m. Good morning, the news headline. Federal government slowing down efforts on Northwest governors to end banditry, El Rufai. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai was first a guest on Channel Television where he spoke on the just concluded local government election in the state and the effectiveness of electronic voting system. He also speaks on the security issues in the state and efforts being made in the war against banditry. Temedayo Akinsui, who monitored the session for daily independence during the state exams. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai was a guest on Channel's television where he spoke on the just concluded local government election in the state and the effectiveness of electronic voting system. If the results are of the Cardinal local government election, is anything to go by where your party APC lost your local government to PDP? Do you think your party members will have confidence in the usage of electronic voting in the future, having seen that it did not favor them? And these were the excerpts. First of all, let's make this correction. The chairman of Cardinal North local government is APC. He won, but lost some councillors because councillorship elections are very personal elections. People know who they are voting for, and the people are not happy with the councillors in the first term. They voted against them, even if they are APC in their second term. That is what happened. But overall, the chairman of Cardinal North local government is APC. Yes, I lost my polling unit. Yes, the councillor in my world is PDP, but that is okay. The councillor that was in the first term was APC. I don't think the people liked him very much. So they worked against him. They voted against him too. They voted against the individual, not really against the party. But they gave more votes to the chairmanship candidate than they did to the councillors because they know the councillor. They see him every day. The chairman is a bit remote. And of course, the governor is far remote. So those saying it is a referendum on me, got it wrong. I am not on the ballot. So we won in Kaduna North local government. And as I said, the 15 local governments so far announced, APC has won 14. PDP has won just one in Kaura, Southern Kaduna. Even the arts of Kaduna opposition, Jama local government, where PDP has won consistently since 1999, this time it flipped to APC. So it is not about incumbents, it is about commitment to democracy and allowing people to make their choice. I think whether you are an incumbent or not, you should put the interest of democracy and public interest ahead and allow free and fair election. And he was asked, now what is your general assessment on the usage of electronic voting machines in Kaduna local government election? He responded that I would say, the elections in Kaduna using the electronic voting machines and electronic backups have been very successful. The reason why people will try to compromise policemen and all that is because that is the system they used to. Truly, the police cannot do anything to change the results of an election. They can't even touch the machine. If anything is done to compromise the machine, the electoral commission can switch it off. And cancel the results of that polling unit. They will be able to use GPS to track where the machine is and recover the machine and then schedule a date for another election in that polling unit. And indeed, in several local governments, we are going to do by elections and polling units with the machine either malfunctioned or snatched, stolen, or whatever. So, as I said, the system is nearly a foolproof. You cannot manipulate it. As electoral officials, you cannot really change anything because you cannot change the results in the machine. You can't change the results in the USB that will be taken to the collision center. You can't change the results that are printed and signed by all party agents and given copies to the security agencies. So, unless you can change all three, hack into the server and change it, hack into the USB somehow and change it, and also they write all the results that are with the security agents and party agents. You really cannot win in this sense. You may succeed in cheating initially, 
but by the time all the facts are brought before the election tribunal you will lose so it is nearly foolproof and if you can make all the lawmakers in the national assembly understand this and they are confident they were duly elected they didn't write the results in the last election that brought them into the national assembly they will have nothing to fear the only person that will fear this system is the person who knew he wasn't elected that he used the security agents and INEC to somehow manipulate the results that brought him to national assembly or the governor's office or the presidency this is my view he was also asked you did this in 2018 and now yet vote, uh, voters turnout is still low what do you think it will take to restore voters confidence in the electoral system so that that day can turn out a mass on election day and they reply that yes voter turnout is a major concern and there are perhaps two or three reasons for this the first is that we have to do modifications to the voting machines it arrived a little late we didn't have months to prepare people and show how the machine works extensively so that people have confidence that even though i am not educated even though i have not seen how the machine is i will still be able to vote so there, there, there was the fear of technology even on the part of the voters and i think this contributed to the apathy this is why i said earlier that we intend to use the next two three years to try to get more people to participate secondly local government elections usually have lower turnouts because unlike national elections where the entire populace is mobilized local government elections are isolated elections in one state so that, uh, there is that issue we need to have more advocacy on the use of machines and the third thing which i think is more positive thing is the fact that for instance Karina North local government even do apc won the chairmanship we lost more than half of the councillors because the councillors have served in the last three years were returned by party using consensus by many people we are not happy with that so they voted against them they didn't vote for pdp they voted against the councillorship candidate so we lost now the result of that will send a message to the people that we vote uh, that their vote matters they can vote out people they don't like i have a feeling that next gov uh, local government election will have higher confidence and turnout which also can be improved by the continuous advocacy uh, that we will do in the next two to three years and these were the words of uh, a cardinal state uh, governor el rufai talking about uh, the their efforts uh, to, to win the northwest uh, election and that um, uh, all this lose lose thing of the thing is actually because you know during the councillorship is actually because of uh, the candidates of which the people at the local level were voting against but uh, as per the national level and the federal level that they are actually doing fine and doing well and they are winning because uh, the people actually believe in the party you know like the local gov uh, the councillorship of uh, the local level which is more of a personal uh, stuff and about the security issue he said that the security is very very uh, sad and frustrating truly but he believes that with the uh, state governors and uh, efforts and also the uh, federal government efforts that very soon with the strategies and plans that they have to end uh, the banditry everything will actually work in place and the aggressive military and police operations across the air are already dismembering are dismembering the bandits and he think that by god's grace it's going to come to an end Good morning, thanks for listening.